three, two, one. What? What was I gonna say? <laughs> hey everybody, this is Phil Bowen with Alpine Electronics. In this video, we're gonna go over the basic features of Apple CarPlay, and then we'll get into some of the changes that have happened with the iOS 13 update. The nice thing about Apple CarPlay is it is very similar to your iPhone. So when you plug your phone in, you get your available CarPlay apps that show up here on the screen. So using the touch screen, you can control things like your music apps, uh, your navigation apps, you can send and receive text messages, you can take phone calls, uh, basically all the things that you can do with your iPhone all safely while driving. So if you are familiar with CarPlay and you recently updated to the new iOS 13, you'll notice that there's some cool new features. One of the first things you'll notice with the new iOS 13 update is the new multi-view dashboard. The cool thing about the new multi-view dashboard is that it shows you multiple apps at the same time. It's showing us our Apple Maps, some Siri suggestions, we can control music from here, and then another new feature of iOS 13 is it shows your calendar. One of the coolest things about the new calendar feature is how it integrates with the Apple Maps. Say I have a dinner tonight with Alpine, uh, I can select that address straight from my calendar and I can navigate to that location. Then I can even share my ETA and let them know when I'm going to be there. They've also added a settings app that allows you to customize a few features. One of the options is you can turn on do not disturb while driving. Once activated, it'll send auto reply messages to anybody who texts you while this feature is turned on. Another cool feature in the settings is you can change the appearance from always dark to an automatic setting. With appearance set to automatic, the screen will lighten and darken based on ambient lighting in the car. Another upgrade to iOS 13 is you can now use Siri to control third-party apps like Waze. Directions to Starbucks using Waze. One option is Starbucks on Brown Road. Getting directions to Starbucks using Waze. Another nice change to iOS 13 is you can now use your phone independently from CarPlay. So if you have a passenger that wants to search the web on your phone, it's not going to disrupt your navigation. So there you have it. If you don't have CarPlay in your vehicle, check out our website for our full list of CarPlay ready head units. We're sure to have one that'll fit your car. Alpine introduces the all new Halo 9 Media Station, designed to bring a nine inch touchscreen to vehicles with a one din installation dock. The display can be fully adjusted in elevation and angle at the time of installation to match a wide variety of vehicle dashboards. The Alpine Halo 9 features Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. Hi, what can I do for you? If you are a Spotify user, you can simply browse among millions of songs, create your own playlists, and enjoy everything in your car. WhatsApp reads new messages for you and lets you dictate and send your own messages. Would you like me to read your messages or compose a new one? Use the latest smartphone apps such as WhatsApp, Amazon Music, Spotify, and Google Play Music in a convenient and safe way while you drive. Google and Apple Maps help you navigate and include many convenient features such as POIs and traffic information. There are also database interfaces available for many vehicles that allow you to display parking sensors, air conditioner settings, and more. The Alpine Halo 9 also features DAB Plus digital radio Bluetooth hands-free and audio streaming, as well as USB video playback. Bring the future of car media to any vehicle with a one-din radio dock. The all-new Alpine Halo 9. L Hi, my name is Dan Greenwood. I'm a brand specialist with Alpine Electronics, and we're sitting here in our Alpine Status demo vehicle. It's a 2018 Tundra, but what we're going to be showing you right now is our F511 head unit. So let's go in and take a closer look and talk about what makes this new head unit really cool. Hey, 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 hey. 
So this new head unit is actually one of three new head units that we are offering this year. We have the F511, which is the 11 inch halo floating display. We also have the F509, which is the nine inch version. It looks just like this, a little bit, a little bit smaller. And for those of you that want to just have a normal doubled in seven inch screen, we have the 507. What's really cool about all three of these head units is they all have the exact same feature set. So if you, no matter which head unit you go with, you're going to get all the features that we're going to be talking about today. So we're going to show you the 511 here. First things first is the big update we made is the display. As you can see, it is much brighter, much more vivid, much more clear than before. We have now moved to an HD display. So it's a lot easier to see the icons. Everything's crisp, sharp. It's a lot easier to see in direct sunlight as well. Another awesome feature that we're offering on the new head units is wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Something we're very excited about and it works beautifully. Very fast, very fluid, really awesome. Another uh, feature that Alpine is really focused on now is high-res audio. So all of our new head units are actually offering high-res audio playback. So you're gonna be at 24-bit 96K, pretty cool feature. So going back to the main menu here, another new feature is this audio drop-down menu. What's really cool about this is you don't have to go into the settings or go into a sub-menu. We just have the new drop-down screen here and it gives you everything you need. So we're gonna give you all the stuff you're used to, media expander, uh, base engine, crossover settings, all that good stuff. But one thing that's really, really nice is if we go into the EQ, you're gonna see that we are now offering a 13 band parametric EQ per output. So for those of you out there that really like to tweak your audio, you, you can really dial your system in now. For those of you that are old like me and you really prefer a volume knob, we have the HO2 volume knob and you're gonna have some flexibility with how you can use this. So it's gonna come with a mount to mount it right to the side of your screen. So it's really easy to use and there's no customization needed. Or you can do something like I did here where it's actually flushed in in the center console. And when you rotate the knob, it is gonna do your master volume of the head unit. And if you're doing a system and you have an external sub, you, uh, you can also adjust the sub level of the radio as well. So on top of having CarPlay and Android Auto, of course, you're also going to have all the other sources and features that you're going to be expecting, like AM, FM radio, HD radio, satellite radio, uh, auxiliary, HDMI. You actually do have an HDMI input and output. Uh, so for those of you running rear seat entertainment, we got you covered. And you're going to see right here, dash cam. This one's pretty cool. Let's select that. What this is, is, is a direct connection to the DVR-C320R. So if you have that dash cam connected to any one of our new head units, you'll be able to see in real time the front and rear view cameras. Now, one thing that's really cool about the C320 is the collision avoidance, lane departure settings, all the, all the uh, safety settings that it comes with. So if you've had this camera and you use those settings, you'd normally just hear a beep. You don't know, maybe necessarily know what the beep means. Now you can actually go in here go through those settings, dial it in right on screen. You don't have to use the app. And then whenever you get one of those warnings, it'll actually pop up on screen what the warning is. And speaking of cameras, on top of having the rear view camera input, we're also gonna give you a front view camera input. So we select the camera icon right here, and there's your front view camera. And if you're using an Al Alpine multi-view camera, you can actually adjust all of those uh, adjustments right here on screen, as well as the rear camera. Pretty cool. So as you can see, we've made a lot of updates to the Halo lineup this year. We're pretty excited about all of them. Alpine introduces the all new Alpine style mobile home navigation system designed for the Fiat Ducato 3. The system features an amazing 23 centimeter touchscreen that is installed offset from the dashboard to be perfectly reachable from the driver's seat. This brilliant screen is almost double the size of regular navigation systems and makes it very easy to see navigation maps and input destinations. The map data includes 48 European countries with 3D maps and landmark icons. Additional camper point of interest, such as mobile shaft, can be imported as well. You can simply set the length, height, and weight of your mobile home to ensure only routes available for your camper will be selected. For entertainment, we even included DAB Plus digital radio, as well as USB and many other sources. The rear view camera activates automatically while reversing and can also be easily activated while driving.
the new Alpine style systems are available now featuring Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Spotify and Waze compatibility. Available for Volkswagen Golf 6 and Golf 7, Polo, Seat Leon, Audi A4, A5, and Q5, and Skoda Octavia 3.